Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video. It's time for another DSP video uh, from Dick Stroking Phil Vlog shout, shout outs. Now this is a, is, is a special case because I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what this is about. Uh, I, I, I mean, I heard about it, I think vaguely like just whatever but um i guess dark side fellow didn't like that mr beast has a organic chocolate i guess bar i, I don't know look how look how upset he is though he really doesn't like organic chocolate bar whatever i guess it's a scam i have no idea i really haven't you know i'm gonna look it up i'm gonna look this up real quick i just want mr beast organic chocolate Feastables, Mr. Beast original chocolate bars made with you know, made with organic cocoa. Okay, cacao, cacao. Uh, oh, it's thirty bucks right now on Amazon. I'm on my diet, so cannot do that. Comes with ten bars, so three dollars each. Wait, yeah, three dollars each. Uh, almond chocolate. That would be the one I get because I love almonds in my chocolate. That's that's almost fifty dollars for ten. Okay, doesn't have the best reviews. That's like a four point one. All right, is it okay though? They taste the most like European chocolate. Okay. If I could give zero stars. My son has recently become obsessed with Mr. Beast. I don't know why, but he is. These are terrible. He took one bite and almost cried. Mr. Beast said it tastes better than Hershey's, I guess. That's a hard no. I'm sure they taste better than Hershey's. Yeah, you can't really fucking get any lower than Hershey's bar. Fucking terrible. And I still eat them. You know, it's like Twizzlers. I hate Twizzlers, but I'll still eat them if they're round. Give a fuck. Cord, does it jiggle? Yes. Sorry, I'm reading. I'm, now I'm just reading my comments. Uh, hold on, let me, let me respond to this comment real quick. Uh, yes, it does. yes, it, yes, it does, and it claps. I'll just rip off a uh, case out of there. All right, there you go. You got a, you got a little exclusive uh, comment reply. I almost never look at the comments anymore because it's all fucking cringe. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's get to it. DSP explodes. I don't. I try not to look at comments too much though, because too many uh, things. I, I rather let's talk about DSP anyway. So Mr. Beast Candy Bar, fuck this. Link in the description. Oh wait, hold on. The intros are always great. Hold on, I need to give it. Wow, everybody, I'm Phil, and I'm back with an official episode of DSP tries it. The first in a very long time. Oh, I haven't done oh, he did. A oh, he did. DSP tries it. Wait, when the fuck did this happen? He made two hundred dollars. Oh, this was during his football stream. Oh, okay. I thought maybe he just randomly started sh shit talking Mr. Beast's bar or something. Long time because honestly, it's terrible. If you want to waste your time watching bad YouTube videos, that's stupid. <laughs> Thanks for the money, dummy. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> ban, 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 ban. I love that. That clip is so fucking stupid in context. He's just like, you could, you're could, saying I'm dressed like a Nazi? Okay, let me quote fucking uh, <laughs> uh, Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> it's all right. Everybody thinks it's it, that, that quote is from um, him going 99999. Nine, nine. It's from that Hitler movie that everybody did the memes with. Um, it may, maybe he does say nine in it too, but like I always th think of it from Inglorious Bastards. But uh, uh, Jack in it. An underage Ooh! Is a rage quitter. Oh, his face, yeah, I say it every time. His face right there, I fucking hate it. Uh, face is trying to escape his head. Lo <clears throat> Just a loser, I swear. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to <laughs> I have none to say. Just insult them. My Super Bowl event for 2024. Now, it's time for our DSP is proof that you can just insult all your viewers all day long and never get banned. So, I guess it's fine. You gotta do it. First piece of food, and my wife has just made something awesome. The Mr. Beast bars. Pizza bombs. Take a look at this. Wow. She found the recipe online. Yeah, I was about to say. The recipe online, I'm about to say, Domino's makes these. What the fuck? So what this is, it's is cheese. Is it sauce? I see some sauce in there. Pastry dough that is seasoned with Italian seasonings. 
Italian seasonings. And then don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just Italian. You go to a grocery store. It's like, can I get all the Italian ones? The side of each dough is stretchy, greasy cheese with Yummy. turkey pepperonis. And then on top of oh, it's each one, okay. she sprinkled a ton of preservatives, and then you bake <laughs> them in the oven. Yum. You get this awesome handheld treat. I mean, and to be fair, those do look pretty good. I'm not going to fuck around. And you dip them in marinara <laughs> those sauce. Look, those look good. Okay. Right oh, that looks disgusting. Okay. I don't know why. Seeing marinara sauce in anything but like a glass bowl... Like an act, or just a regular bowl, seeing it like on a plate or on one of those fucking f shitty fucking cardboard bowls, it's disgusting. Like, so shout out to my wife, an amazing shout out. Making food all day, it's a lot of work to put together that yep. stuff. She's it's devouring half of it, but she is. Fun effort. <laughs> I'm fat too, so I can't really make work. Making food all day, it's a lot of work to put together that stuff. It's a ton of effort. <laughs> They're literally crappy Totino's pizza rolls. Okay, so let's try. <laughs> they probably are, right? They, they looked alright, though. So just to show you what they look like, I wanted to get you some that actually have burst in the oven so you can Let me show you what they look like. We <laughs> just cover it. Uh, can I please borrow that pizza roll? I need it for research purposes. I really need to see if it, if it will fit me in that beautiful dough. Oh, this is Derek. Oh. Oh, no. That That's... No, oh, don't even, I don't even want to talk about Derek. Derek is a fucking weirdo. You see inside Massive you see weirdo. That? Hey, I highly recommend the podcast, that being said, if you want to, if you want, maybe not die, I don't want to say dive deep into Derek, because obviously he wants to fucking, these little shitty, uh, Tortino's rolls to do that to him, but, um, but, uh, but, uh, some of those are really good. Yeah. The um, look up. Uh, I think they did a compilation of all the times that um, Derek was brought up. I want to say not really brought up, but like someone was someone was doing like the, reading off his uh, his weird ass comments to other streamers. I don't want to spoil it. Go go look it up. It's 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 funny. It's really and fucking weird too. So there's a pepperoni with some cheese. Pizza. That looks like some that I've had. Nice. Now just shove it inside the pastry dough. First, yeah, I'm gonna go. just taste it plain and then i'm gonna try it with the marinara sauce All just right. fucking do it god okay, damn man go. fucking hey it takes 20 years to fucking eat a thing it's probably fucking ice cold by now why does he always look so stupid when he bites it he's like he's always so angry about it that is yummy the biscuit bread is still of course. fluffy of course of course it is if it's if it's it, it, it could be the shittiest thing ever because his wife made he's like oh yum yum what don't want her to leave me Immediately, I got a burst of flavor. Oh, a burst of flavor. Yeah, a burst of and flavor. The cheese is a perfect balance to that. Mm, a perfect balance of flavor. Classic pizza. Classic right? pizza flavor. I'm buying in that, too. With my weird That's ass fluffy. ass. Oh, I need to hot pocket, essentially. <laughs> Better than a hot pocket. Because it's freshly made. Like, hot pockets are kind of gross. This is basically like a homemade yeah. version. It's so better now, than a hot pocket. Let's actually try it better than you. everything I've ever had. Because my wife made it. Panera also, stuff. I don't look at other women anymore. No, ew. Yucky other women. Ugh, disgusting. My wife is beautiful. She got fucking man dark's haircut, but she looks beautiful. Awesome. Honestly, I legitimately, I don't think Cat would. I mean, I guess she's a big, you know, she's rotund. That's fine. That's fine. That's I'm rotund. It's not fine. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't be. You, you, you are not less of a human. Actually, you're more of a human technically. But uh, if you're fat, what I'm saying is, is that it is your fault if you're fat. Most most time, that's to be the case. Also, I think she would look okay if she didn't have that haircut. She, her haircut is fucking weird. It's like, it's it. It's it's man man dark from Dexter's Laboratory. Every time I look at her, I'm like it's man dark, in drag. Ha 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 ha. Mm. The fuck is going on? That's seriously good with the marinara sauce. <laughs> fucking anything. Oh, uh, don't do that little like mm, yummy. It's a little it's fucking bread and cheese and so Italian seasonings. Don't fucking look at me, bro. That's that's a fucking yummy. Wow. Oh, fuck off, cheesy. He's so lame. She nailed it. That she dough. nailed it. She put bre bread and cheese. Wow, nailed it. And put a pepperoni in it. Crunchy and hard because it's been frozen for so long. The pepperoni is like almost a star because it stands out with its flavor. And I, what I really like is the seasoning. So you lame. can taste oregano. I'm not... I don't know what she got. We might have Wait, did like he, a Does he have a different jersey on than he did in the beginning of the video? Yeah, he does. I thought it's this like was like a one-day event. Did he change his jersey every time he went on break seasonings? or something? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her later what she actually put on them. But it has good flavor to it. Jerseys aren't that. super cheap, I really too. Like so. uh, shout out to Plato. Plato just gifted a membership and went to the one and only. Thank you very much, Plato, for the gifted membership. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I love watching DSP eat microwave hot pockets for real, for real. Yes. Uh, uh, it is uh, your band, or, or you mean free free? Because that's what, that's how that's how he said for real, for real. If you're looking to do something quick in the that oven, was fucking I hilarious. Take, so, this is a good. I'm sorry. What was that? Membership. Yeah, this is super good. If you're looking to do something quick in the oven, and I didn't take took this is a good. <laughs> I need to watch Dick Stroke and Phil's older videos. They're so fucking good. They're way more like condensed and way more YouTube poop ish. I've, I've watched them so many times though. I don't know if they make me laugh anymore. I've, I've watched them so many times. Simulating kind of Super Bowl here, but for any event. What? I would say that these are. Well, I'm simulating Super Bowl here. Some fucking schlubby asshole with a jersey on eating fake ass hot pockets while there's Ninja Gaiden art in the background. It's, it's exactly like it. Pretty good. As a snack. So now I'm going to take this one that they didn't bite into yet, and I'm going to dip that into the marinara to start. The first bite the marinara, of the marinara bro. sauce. Wow. His face, what? bro. It tastes like a bite of homemade pizza. <laughs> it really does. That is super duper good. Yeah. Oh, God. Fuck off. Mmm. Mmm, yum, wow. yum. That is delicious. Oh, uh, no, the marinara was store bought. My wife's been doing a lot of cooking today. So she didn't make the marinara from wow. store bought jar of marinara for for fairness purposes here. She wasn't going to be making a whole homemade marinara sauce just for today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's continue. That bitch was lazy. I wish that the camera would pick this up better. Look, I hold it here, you can see it. Nice. It's fucking bread. Yeah, look, it looks here. But as soon as I get closer, the ring light it oversaturates, and now you can't see it at all. Well, I guess uh, you can now. I there you go. I can see it. I'm not. Oh. It didn't make me blind, bro. Okay. I'm loving it. Whoa. I'm loving it. Uh, look, oh my god. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he looks so fucking angry when he bites into anything. What? what? It's so weird. Mm. Usually I'm happy when I'm eating uh, something more, delicious. Well, so good I'm, I'm like... Yummy, yummy. I'm a lucky man to have a wife mm, who's yum, yum. cook like this. Yeah, because yeah. you're stupid. Okay. <laughs> Last one. Yeah, he's stupid. Dude, he talks like he's still fucking 12. I, 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 it blows my mind. He really does. He's talked like that for 15 years. He says stupid like that. Stupid. Yeah. yeah. You're stupid. Pizza bomb going down. Stop zooming in on his fucking face. No, when my Where's Mr. Beast Bar? Right. She doesn't want me anywhere near her. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her. <laughs> Oh, there have been times I've tried to help her. She's like, get out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen, <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> mm. Get out of my kitchen. My kitchen, not yours. So there you go. Very simple. That was superb. Pizza bombs are a success. Two thumbs up from me for homemade pizza bombs for my wife. I'll be back later with more food. Okay. Yep, all right. Now I gotta get back. Now, and now if this was uh, Mrs. Uh, Phil's uh, organic chocolate, you know it would be amazing, by the way. Wait, you, I'm assuming next will be the Beast Tonight, Park. Tonight, yep, I am here, you. and I'm bringing DSP Tries It out of retirement for a very special reason. Because tonight... What? Why Why for the Super Bowl? I don't understand. Like, oh, I'm going to do all this special shit for the Super Bowl. What? He loves his wife so much. Did he do anything for Valentine's Day? was like literally a few days later right did he do anything of importance at least i think he did the fucking thing where he played like um what the fuck is it called yeah uh, like a dragon's uh dundoko park or whatever but that was like just a regular stream except she was there to play and she did all the work and shit and she looked like she was fucking miserable i only watched like maybe 20 minutes of not even their stream Someone restreaming it, and I was like, I'm done. This is fucking terrible. I'm going to try a product from another YouTuber. How dare you try a product from another beloved YouTuber? How could you? Here's the thing. I don't know what to expect. We're going to actually... I feel like Mr. Beast has transcended YouTuber. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I mean, he is a YouTuber, but like... And he started as a YouTuber, and he still is, obviously. But I feel... I don't know. I feel like at this point, he's transcended that. Taste it live and see if it's good. We are going to be watching Mr. Beast's last video. Mr. Beast candy bars. Two different flavors. Why do you have it on a plate? Mr. Beast bar milk chocolate. The other one is called Mr. Beast bar crunch. Almond. So it should crunch, be pretty okay. interesting. The crunch okay. Part. I don't even know like what what is the the appeal of this. This is feast 
Comestibles. That's like the name of the real company that makes it, and all they. No, that's his company. You fucking moron. They, did, they slapped Mr. Beast's name on there. No, why did you do research? As like a name do a little bit of research. Recondition. I don't get it. When I go to the store, I don't, I don't get care it. whose name's on the bar. Then like, why'd you fucking buy it just so you could say all this shit and, and shit on somebody else? He never said anything positive about anybody. You know, oh, fuck, fuck, uh, uh, he's like the people on Twitter, except he doesn't even talk about the positive things at all, let, let alone, like, shit on it, you know what I mean? Like, some people on Twitter do, like, oh, I can't believe it's so evil that he saved people's sight and, and, and fu like, funded so many good things. Oh, man, he should be like Logan Paul, who buys fucking thousand dollar fake Pokemon cards and then hangs them on his fucking chain and then films dead bodies in a forest. Now, that's who... That's who I look up to. It says milk chocolate made with grass. But he doesn't even talk about that. He's just going to shit on it because he's way more popular than Phil. And people actually like Mr. Beast for the most part. It's fed milk. Yeah. That's organic, you fucking moron. What's wrong? So I care, Transfer. apparently. Why the fuck did you buy it? What they fed the cow. Yeah. A, what the fuck? Whose udders they squeezed to create the milk. That they put into the milk chocolate. Yeah, some people don't want, like, the same thing with, like, chicken and stuff. Not with milk or anything, but, like, you know, organic chicken. It's not like those fucking, they inject it with fucking, like, the, the things that makes them all fucking roided up and fucking disgusting looking. I don't care, I'll still eat it, but whatever. You're supposed to care about this. That's important, apparently. For the record, this bar is tiny. It's 1.24 ounces or 35 grams. Yeah. A standard mm -hmm. candy bar is no exaggeration. At le you can get small versions of candy bars everywhere. Uh, at least yeah. two times as big as this bar. I wouldn't consider this a full-size bar. The normal price. He hasn't even tried. You know he was going to shit on it either way. I've heard the candy bars are fine. You know, I mean, just looked at the Amazon reviews. And like, yeah, you can say, wait, well, 4.1 is not terrible. For him to already be fucking losing his mind over these bars... Obviously did it to be like, yeah, I'm going to shit on Mr. Beast. That's it. That's the only reason why I did it. Immediately, it's already like this. From Mr. Beast, small snack size bar is $1.99. Yeah. $2 for this snack size candy bar. You I mean, that's not that fucking crazy. I don't know. Like, I mean, it, it's it's expensive, sure, but like, like you, so many things. Like, it, my my Seven Eleven used to sell Nutrigrain bars for two dollars, and they're about the same size. So, I don't you get know. a big Nestle Crunch or a big Snicker bar for actually cheap. My Seven Eleven sells fucking like those little shitty non-specific branded cupcakes for like three seventy nine. So I, I don't know, and they're shitty. You know? I mean, they're about normal size cupcakes, but they're like they're they're just not good cupcakes. I know I bought one of them before. A, a, a two thing. They were three seventy nine. That was like years ago too. When I go to the store and I'm getting a candy bar, I'll get the giant one, right? So these Mr. Beast bars are very <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Expensive. Twenty dollars for a tiny little what? bar. Wait, what? <laughs> for the record, I did not pay two dollars. I want to make that clear. I would never pay two. So that was like all right. I know that was an edit, but th that was all like one. You know what I mean? Bar. Wait, oh. Expensive. Twenty dollars. For a tiny little... I mean, that was all... That wasn't edited right there. This whole part. Like, what, what, what was the context there? $20 for one little bar. What? Bar. For the record, I did not pay $2 for... I want to make that clear. I would never pay $2 for a tiny candy bar. Did you steal it? The fuck? At any level. These were on extreme clearance at my local grocery store for 60 cents each. Okay, so why the fuck are you complaining, bro? Don't bought them. They literally just sat there. Uh, I don't know. They're sold out at every place I go to. Because I've been, for for months, I've been like, I want to try these. 7-Eleven, every time I ask, they're sold out, sold out. They would have, like, the fucking cardboard inserts where they're supposed to be fucking empty. So, I don't know. Oh, and no one bought They weren't those size ones, to be fair. Uh, maybe they just don't buy the small ones. I guess that makes sense. $2 one, what the fuck? Like, the regular bars are, like, what, $3? So they're trying to liquidate it for extreme clearance prices. I like, I love that. I just love it. He's just shitting on Mr. B. Uh, they're small, uh, organic, makes no sense. Uh, no one's buying them. Like, Mr. Beast made so much more money than you, bro. It doesn't matter. You can have fucking 20 failed ventures. It won't matter, bro. Okay. He's done way more good in the last 14 seconds than you've done in your entire life. Let's take a look at the ingredients. God damn, bro. Cane sugar. Organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liqueur. Or do, do people think this is like entertaining? Oh, I'm reading greens now. Here we go. Uh, it has a cocoa bubble and uh, oh, oh wow, organic cheese and uh, cheese milk, whatever. <laughs> it's fucking organic, sick. organic. Organic food is a myth is the name of this fucking chapter, by the way. An organic vanilla powder. I don't know what any of that's supposed to mean. Doesn't mean anything to me. 
Now just... <laughs> He's the type of guy that reads things but doesn't even process them at all. <laughs> like, the record, not even a little bit. Ask a scientist, is there a reason? Yeah, let's get Bill Nye. Why you should eat organic foods over standard foods? They would tell you no. Organic foods are myth. It's a wives' tale. That or it's a wives' tale, bro. This is, I swear to God, DSP is from the fucking 1940s. <laughs> like he says that he always, he, keep, he keeps saying like things like laughing stock and. I swear to God, I bet whenever he, like, he gets like some good news in the mail, he goes like this. You know, one of those things. So organic it's... foods are better than non-organic foods. But it's such a big myth that it's an entire bajillion dollar industry. You go to any grocery store now, you'll find... Uh, DSP, you, you lie on a daily basis and you're a, you're a tens of dollars industry. <laughs> and a whole organic section, even though there's literally no scientific evidence... That organic ingredients are better for you than non-organic. They still sell them for a premium price. It's a five-ingredient organic chocolate bar, and because of that, you're paying two dollars for this tiny bar. It, 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 it would probably be two dollars either way. It's five. Mr. Beast put it. Look at his face. Uh, Mr. Beast put his name on it, and and is like it's marking up because of his name. I mean, that's a fuck around. That's exactly why. And he also advertised that it's better than ever. Dude, you know how many times I've had chocolate that hasn't been organic that has tasted like shit? Like, you could, you could look at it. It's chalky and shitty. It's like Hershey's bars. Um, and then I, I eat ones that are, are organic, supposedly at least, and they're so much better. There's one um, that went over... Uh, oh, fuck. What was it called? It's the 100% the slave-free chocolate they advertise, which is, I know, is a weird thing for it to say, but it actually makes sense if you dig deep. Um... Pretty sure that's all organic, and that was good chocolate. I did, did a gore place. I mean, a gore place. I did a gore place for a chocolate bar. I did a gore uh, tries it. <laughs> a, a DS gore tries it. <laughs> DS gore tries it. Nothing to me. I, I do live my life based on like logic and facts rather than nonsense. Oh, is that, is that why you're half a million dollars in tech? Because you look at me <laughs> facts and logic. I would never. Go okay, fucking Ben Shapiro over here. To the grocery store and, and shop organic. I would never pay extra for organic. It's stupid. That being said, that's you the, just the, the did standard though. milk chocolate bar. The I guess he only paid 60 cents. I mean, I, there might have been a 50 cent chocolate bar there. Good guy. Each bar says six ingredients. I'm going to assume it's the same five ingredients and then it's going to be rice. Correct? Just read it, bro. It's You're going to read it anyway. What the fuck? Wasting more time. Just making this longer. The same. So the only difference... What, do you want to make this longer just so you can get more ad revenue? I don't understand. These two. Okay, oh boy, it, I'm trying Mr. Beast so people are going to watch this. Is the rice versus the non-rice. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to taste it just for... for very, very transparency purposes here. I love chocolate. I'm a chocoholic. Chocolate is my number one favorite dessert. You already shit on this bar like five different times, bro. We all know you're going to hate it. Even if I didn't read the fucking title of this video. I We all know you're going to hate it. You paid 60 cents also. So, like, you can say, for $2? Like, you paid 60 cents. So, you already get off your high horse before it even happens. Maybe I'll love it. Maybe the title's a lie. I don't know. Any kind. If you were to ask me, what's your favorite candy? Chocolate. What's your favorite cake? Chocolate. What's your favorite ice cream? Chocolate. Everything. What's your favorite thing ever? WWE Chocolate. I love chocolate. Or and champions. I, whichever one he likes. I have a hard time stopping my... Hogan pulls. ...so from eating chocolate. But at the same time, I'm going to rate it fairly. This is supposed to be made of all these organic ingredients, and maybe that's you why... Just, you just said it's all scam and bullshit. I mean, what the fuck's the point? Like, you're going to taste it, and even if it tasted amazing, you would you would say, like, nah, it's bad. Mr. Beast is bad. I don't like him. Just to be more than Mr. Bitch. Dollars for this tiny bar, but you paid sixty cents, bro. The organic ingredients don't <laughs> matter. They don't make anything taste better. They're not. I see, I, I sort of got. It. I bet he searched for. He, he probably found the regular size bars, and then he found the small bars. Also, he didn't prove that there were sixty cents. Also, do you realize that every store around me has big ass either yellow or blue stickers saying clearance sixty cents or whatever fucking price it is. Um, didn't show that. I guess if he shows it, then you'll be scared. People can find where he lives or some shit. And, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. Better for you. It's all a myth. If you're going to be a YouTuber and you're going to make a unique product, do you go with a bunch of myths and mark up your product to make a massive profit? Uh, I myths? You just randomly said that as if as if it's true. How is it, how is it a myth? They, if, if they use, like, better ingredients that are better for you without fucking around with like using like these chemical things that are supposed to make it taste like the thing it's supposed to be maybe it's not better for you but it it, it there has to be a difference there has there's no way they're using completely different things they're using like grass-fed milk i mean grass-fed uh, cows for milk all right what do they normally feed them i'm sure i'm sure there's a, a easier way to get 
milk from cows without feeding them grass. Like, I, I'm, do, do, have you seen the roided out chickens? There's no way they don't fucking do some weird shit. I don't know. I don't, I don't follow this shit. The most I've ever been experienced with, like, like the, the sadness of, like, what animals have to go through is the fucking movie Oakja. That was, like, it. It's, I've never seen any documentary. Oh, I've seen that one video of, like, how they make the chicken nuggets where it's just a bunch of chicks and they just fucking grind them all up. That's it. That's it. Those are the two things. Oh, and, um, uh, Animal Farm. Animal Farm is just, like... Is a little different though. Anyway, yes. wait, no, not Animal Farm. Uh, no, Watership Down. No, I don't, no, Animal Farm. Yeah, no, Watership Down. I was right, Watership Down. And that was rabbits and stuff. But that's like animals being abused and stuff. I don't watch a lot of animals being abused things, okay? Because I know I can't change anything about it. It'll just make me feel worse about my life. So it's just like with, with, with they're like with. Mr. Beast, yes, that's what you do. Okay, right, let me go. Back. And mark up your product to make a massive profit. I guess if your name's Mr. Beast, yes, that's what you do. You oh. didn't even eat it yet. Why is if you eat this and you eat a Hershey's bar? Which, by the way, Hershey's bars are about a little, like a big one, like a, or a normal, a normal size one. You know, I wish I had them in here. Those are like what, like almost two bucks, and they're shitty. If this is good and it's less, then it makes sense. You know, you know how many fucking. Chocolate bars are like, oh, here's the deluxe extravagant chocolate bar, and it's like fucking like seven dollars, you know. And then you try, it and it's like, yeah, that's pretty good. It's creamy, I like it, but you know, whatever. Okay. He's gonna hate it. It doesn't matter. Here we go. I'm gonna go for it. See what happens. Don't shoot the messenger. This is my honest review. I have the right to review it however I want. So here we go, Mr. Beast Bar milk chocolate on the very top. Oh, you already read it. What the fuck? Oh yeah, that's right. That's actually kind of cool. A little share. Bar is a share and it has a small snap off piece. Yeah, that's cool. I like at that. the very bottom, it's, it's a like a little Kit Kat giant oh. chunk that says "Devour." I know it's supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Devour. Oh yeah. But that's kind. Of what? A mean spirited. Give. You what? Oh oh my god. It's mean spirit. DSP, you call fucking people in your you, you call people mental cases and, and nuts and they, they, you say people that make fun of you have no worth, no fucking worth in their life. How can you say this? It's mean spirited to who? Cat? Punk. That says devour. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be a joke, but that's fuck you, bro. Just shut the fuck up. It's kind of mean spirited. Give oh fuck off. He, he's so fucking transparent and lame. He he went in here expecting to hate this, or no, not even expecting. He was going to hate it. It doesn't matter. And he built this up. And now, oh, the share. He probably even knew about the share, share fucking part. I bet he did. You this tiny piece while I keep the giant portion. Yeah, no shit. If I bought the fucking thing, guess what? You can have a little bit. Here you go. You want to try it? There you go. I paid, like you said, $2 for that little bar. You think I'm going to give the, oh, here you go. Let's, let's go halvesies. Fuck that. You can still go halvesies. It's not like you fucking, you can't. What the fuck? That is there just to give somebody it just in case they want to try it. Obviously, you know how many times that's happened where I'm like, oh, I want to try a little thing, and then they're like, oh, here you go, and they snap a piece off, and I try it at least one time. I've only talked to, you know, a couple people. Like, I don't ever talk, but I, that's still more people than that talk to uh, me than Phil. That's right. Wow, that's a really fun, positive spirited. Oh fuck you! Oh my god, you're so fucking lame. Candy bar, isn't it? Especially because you have to understand that someone like Mr. Beast appeals to kids. Kids. What? So the vast majority of people who watch this stuff on YouTube, and you're teaching the what? kid, if you're gonna share, only share this tiny top portion with everyone else and keep. Okay, so regular chocolate bars that don't even have anything share at, at all anywhere. You think kids are even gonna be like, oh, oh I guess the, uh, I guess I can't have the rest. They're, they're gonna fucking snap it in half anyway. What the fuck is? What are you talking about? You're such a fucking idiot. I can't. I can't. What a fucking moron. I'm story. glad he doesn't have a kid. God damn, man. That kid would be fucked. It's a good moral lesson. To good moral lesson. Right. Okay, yeah. All the kids that are watching you, which, by the way, a lot of kids watch DSP. I don't know fucking why. Um, I, what moral lessons do does DSP teach them? What what good moral lessons? Well, keep begging and you'll make it through life. You know, dude, fuck it. Just keep buying stuff and you'll be half a million dollars in debt. And then you could just say, oh, bankruptcy, you know, and lie about all the shit that you've spent money on just so you can get the bankruptcy. Huh? What, what, like, what moral lessons has DSP ever fucking provided that are uh, actually, like, well... Are, like, <sighs> Alright, so let's go ahead. Oh, uh, it smells like ass. It smells like Mr. Beast's asshole. It smells pretty sweet. It looks... No shit. It looks like standard milk chocolate to me. What the fuck were you... What, 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 it looks moist. I'm gonna get. 
it looks moist. It's probably cutting your greasy ass fingers. Give it a, a little bit of a, a bite off the end here. Let's see here. <laughs> oh my god. Probably took like 20 minutes to, for him to finally bite into it. Dude, I have two Gore Eats a Food videos that have not been posted yet. They're both five minutes long. And combine both of those is is probably only half the time it took him to finally get to the fucking chocolate bar. This edited version, it's been what, since right here? Oh my god, it's been it's been almost six minutes he finally bit into the fucking thing. In the edited version. Oh my god. No 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 no, it's shitty. Hershey's is better. It's very sweet. It's like really sweet. Why is it so sweet? Like, it seems like there's way more sugar in it for some reason. I have no idea if that's because it's grass-fed milk. Oh, 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 it's almost like it tastes different for, wow, that's crazy. It does have this overpowering note of sugar or sweetness. And I don't know if I like that. I actually think. Oh, oh, whoa, he didn't like it, guys. It may be a little too sweet for me. It almost tastes more like a confection than a chocolate bar. And that's not a good thing. Off. Why is it so sweet? I'm a little confused. Get... Oh my God. Good fucking God. I'm going to try the other one. Keep repeating yourself, bro. Like, this... Why is it so sweet? Why? You read all the ingredients. Didn't process any of them. And then goes, why is it so sweet? The crunch bar. Here's the thing. I love Nestle Crunch. Yeah, I love, anything I love it. Crunch. He has to build it up so it sounds more disappointing when he eats it and goes, I don't like this. So. Nestle Crunch is I love good. Nestle Crunch. It's one of my favorite things ever. Nestle Crunch. Oh my God. It's so good. Yum, 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 yum. I wish my blood was fucking goddamn chocolate fucking Nestle Crunch. And, my favorite candy yeah, we get of all time. So immediately opening it, I can tell you, it looks like Nestle Crunch. Look at that. Does that... Uh, yeah, Nestle Crunch doesn't own the rice thing in the chocolate. It, fucking so many bars have the fucking crunchy things in them. Yes. Unlike no. the bottom of an Nestle Crunch bar, it looks exactly like it. Almost identical. It's the same exact top. The share. Oh, yo, oh, you go fucking soy out again. The devour. So again, the mean spirit. How is it mean spirited? Holy shit! Bad lesson for your kid. Bad lesson for your kid. They're eating a chocolate bar. Oh, like, oh share. Here you go. You want the piece? There you go. Only oh, you want more? Oh, cool. I can break more because. This it's not like the other part said this is yours and only yours you're not allowed to give it to a friend <laughs> it just says devour part at the top it gave you yeah. an easy way to give somebody it if they want to try it it's your bar you paid for it and acting like like a kid's the only one that's gonna buy this as if like a kid is the only person that watches mr beast he's never watched mr beast i watch him and, he, and it's fine it's not just it's you go anybody can watch it you think any kid really gives a shit that much about like Mr. Beast philanthropy and stuff. Like, oh, he built a bunch of villages and stuff. No, they care about the Squid Game videos and shit. You know? Those things. You know? Ah, all for yourself. Great idea, right? Yeah, all those kids fucking love the planting the tree fucking video. I'm sure there's plenty of kids that did watch it, but they act like it's only kids is ridiculous. You know? For your kids. It's yeah. the same thing wherever he, like, shits on, like, Ninja or one of those. You know? I mean, he hasn't shit on Ninja in a little while because he's not... He's barely even, like... I mean, he's relevant, but you know, he's way more relevant than my ass or his ass. <coughs> he thinks like PewDiePie nobody talks about anymore, and he's like probably more popular than PewDiePie. I'm sure DSP thinks that in his brain. Only share this you know PewDiePie's in a fucking like a million, like a, 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 probably a million dollar mansion, multiple million dollars, and you know. Tiny part at the top. Keep it all for yourself. Great idea, right? <sighs> so fu You're so fucking lame. You're so fucking lame. Mr. Philanthropist. <laughs> He has billion. What the fuck, Mister Philanthropist? Yeah. They smell identical. Why? Did, why did you have to fucking? What's with the plate? Let's see what this tastes like. If just grab the fuck. Why is he having on a plate? The fuck? What is he go get a fork and fucking bib and just fucking chow down? The fuck? Put some gravy on it next. Oh my god! Just bite into it, you fucking loser. I like how he shits on the share piece, but then he uses it. <laughs> He's such a fucking. Idiot. <laughs> oh, this is a bad thing for kids. I'm gonna use it though. <laughs> oh, it's almost like that's a perfect thing for like you know taste test videos too. Mm, it's almost like Mr. Beast thought of this probably and went like, oh, this might be a good uh, like if you want a first piece, a good first piece that would be a first one too. It says share too, but you know it could be for that too. It doesn't matter what it actually says. You could just do it for anything. Oh my god! You know what's a good life lesson is uh, use if you have a lot of money, use it to help people. I'm gonna eat the other half of it before I comment. 
YouTube. <laughs> can you eat the whole fucking thing? Something about that bar. Take a look at the rice. Oh, yeah, I could totally see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good quality camera. You know what? Mr. Beast probably would have a, a way less quality camera because, you know, he's a fucking philanthropist. And he's an asshole. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's an asshole. You know? uh, there's barely any rice in it. Is that what he's going to say? It's only on the bottom. Where's the rice? It's on the bottom. Only the she door. literally showed it. Correct <laughs> bottom. You see that, right? When you... Yeah, oh, yeah, I could totally see it, bro. See your fucking bite mark in there. Eat a Nestle Crunch bar. The rice is completely throughout. There's literally no... Okay, this isn't a Nestle Crunch bar, you fucking moron. Rice throughout the whole top... You just get, you're giving a shit because it looks exactly like a Nestle Crunch bar, and then they do something different, and you're like, what the fuck? It's not like a Nestle Crunch bar. It's Chocolate? Like, it's only in the bottom. See that? Did it say anywhere there that the, the rice is going to be distributed throughout the entire bar? I'm going to take a third bite, and I'm going to tell you why after I chew it. So now I'm biting into the... Yeah, because he wants to see if... Uh, if he, he wants to take a bigger bite to see if he can get more of the rice. Big chunk. Yeah, see? Bigger bite. Okay, why did you bite a big third bite? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> out of the crunch chocolate bar. Because I don't taste the rice at all. Exactly. He wants a bigger rice than taste oh, the rice. This right. tiny, thin layer of rice. It's not like you taste the rice anyway. Crunch bar, you don't fucking... You notice it, but it, there's no taste to it. Fucking rice. It's rice, little rice cake things in them. They put it at the bottom. The fuck? It's not enough to taste the rice. This bar... To notice the rice is more accurate. Like, I love crunch bars, and it has a nice texture to it. That's why I like it. But it doesn't taste like anything. Like, it barely... It, like You might as well put little pieces of styrofoam in it. It would be the same fucking thing tastes exactly the same as the pure milk chocolate bar oh There's wow it's almost like it's the same chocolate except they put rice in it no difference in flavor no shit <laughs> no fucking shit they changed the milk chocolate just for the rice one they put rice in it you don't like the distribution of rice oh poor you they're exactly the same bar you can't have no it's not it has one has rice in it. have that little <laughs> rice in there and yeah you can he did it <laughs> you can do about it expect that the consumer is going to taste it there's not enough they, they, they do though like uh, maybe this one went clearance by the way also a lot of times when things go on clearance it's because they're changing their their like logo or something like that and so that is a possibility that they like they didn't sell um or they're trying to sell them out quickly for idiots like him to buy. Um, so they can just, you know, put put out the new logo or the new rat. Like, you know how many times I went to a store and went, oh no, Propels. Propels are like clearance. Does that mean they're go getting rid of them? I drink the shit out of Propels. And it's because they changed their either logo or label or their bottle size. Like, they went back to this bottle again. Again, this, ba this bottle. If you don't know, they just changed them again to like make them like way more like, I don't know. I guess, I guess uh, even. It's just like one line down except this little like ooh, this little hourglass shape yo what's up girl um i want you to propel you into my bed <laughs> i'm just kidding i wouldn't do that I don't, girls are yucky especially though a cat there's no crunch with nestle crunch That's you me. absolutely I'd can cat. taste the okay. rice in each bite it has this unique sweet vanilla flavor to it that complements the chocolate here no it doesn't what no it doesn't i've had crunch bars all my life it doesn't have like a he has to be talking about the the creaminess of the chocolate. If he can feel, I swear to God, the rice in the fucking Crunch Bar or even any of the other ones I've had, I've had uh, uh, ones because I'm on a diet, so they have like diet chocolate ones um, that have had like the rice cakes in them, just like the whatever. Almost never, ever do I really notice a different taste because of the rice. A, a, a texture, sure, and I do like them better, but it's the same thing as, like, a lot of things that they just add things, you know, you, know, you don't notice the taste that much, but it's just the texture, I don't know. Bite. It has this unique, sweet vanilla flavor to it that complements the chocolate. Here, I don't I don't remember ever tasting a vanilla flavor. These bars are absolutely identical to me. I see no difference between the two at all. The crunch Well, you can definitely see the difference. Bar, that's a no-go for me. I did this terrible. It's so what terrible? I, There's no, no overall. Way. I'll tell you. It's terrible. Mr. B should be ashamed of himself. Uh uh yeah, he made fun of uh people that um don't, what was the sh what was the share bar thing again? <laughs> what was the problem with it? Wait, hold on. Um it's a bad lesson to teach kids to but it says share on it, so it's a good lesson because no bar says share. This one says share. So even if it's like a lesser piece than the rest, it's still a better lesson to teach kids because it's even it's telling you to share here it's not saying share if you want it's just it says share share you know it's your bar you don't you don't need to give them half the bar you know hey 
here you go, here's a piece. Yeah, you might even be sitting, like, say you get these for, like, class, whatever, like, lunch. You shouldn't be eating chocolate bars for lunch, but whatever. Um, just say, you know, everybody's fat nowadays, so maybe they fucking eat chocolate bars and fucking pizza for at fucking every... <laughs> And they have like, I'm thinking like when you have a lunch bag or whatever, just a, a fucking an entire rolled up pizza in there. It's like a, it's like one of like one of those like, like like clown things. You just keep pulling things out of it. It's like what the fuck? Or like a magician thing where it's a giant pizza and a fucking pull out umbrella for you outside and a fucking lawn chair. <laughs> No, that makes me think of eating pizza outside more so than a fucking a nice lawn chair and an umbrella. You eat a whole fucking pie outside. Um, oh, pizza box gaming too. There you go. See, pizza was there the entire time. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. It's the just, chocolate's too sweet. This bar is too sweet. way too sweet. It's, it's too sweet. It's too sweet. Dusty and chalky. And scrub. It's dusty and chalky. You never said that. And well, maybe he cut it out. To be fair, I would go buy Hershey's. I would go. Fuck you. No, you wouldn't. There's no way. Hershey's is so bad. You know what? The only good Hershey's. It's not good. But the one that I could tolerate is the almond one because the almonds are good in it. That's it. And by the way, almonds. It tastes like some. So there you go. Buy Nestle's. I would buy any other company. Before I would yeah, of course you would. You hate Mr. Beast just because he's more popular than you. No shit, can you be any more obvious? <laughs> buy a Mr. Beast bar. I wouldn't buy this fucking guy. He's a philanthropist cheat on my ass. I'm I'm a better person. Because <laughs> this is too sweet. This bar is two dollars. You could buy it was a sixty. It was sixty cents. Hershey bar for two dollars. It was sixty cents. This is way overpriced. And you could buy a Hershey's bar for two dollars. Yes, yeah, a giant one, but it tastes like fucking ass. I don't know, maybe the Mr. Beast one tastes like ass. I don't know. I'm just saying, here he was shitting on it. If so, obviously he wasn't going to like it. Um, yeah. And again, you might argue, well, it's only five ingredients and they're all organic. I don't care. What okay, why'd you fucking buy it then? Just to shit on it? You're eating you looked at it and went organic. I can't wait to shit on this one. Chocolate, you're not eating it for your health, genius. You're but if you want a little snack, if you're on a diet or something, or you just want the... What you expect from chocolate is actual milk and stuff like that, then maybe you just want that. Maybe you want a creamy chocolate bar. You know? you know, Hershey's bars are not creamy. They're fucking... They're so bad. I can't believe... They're so bad. Like, have real chocolate and then have a Hershey's bar and tell me it's the same shit. You have no taste buds if you say that. I'm sorry. You have You have no idea. You have no idea what you talk about. You watch fucking uh, Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares videos and thinks you, you you know what the fucking, what food is or some shit. Like, that's it. You're not eating chocolate to get healthy. That's the most you know about food is probably Kitchen Nightmares or some shit this like that. This is your comfort food. This is your dessert. This is your splurge. You don't... Your splurge. Oh, a little chocolate bar is your splurge. You need it to be healthy. Well, if you're, you're splurged, then you should be getting something else besides a little ass chocolate bar anyway. Do you know what splurge means? Healthy. I'm gonna splurge. I'm gonna have a little chocolate, bar. <laughs> some Halloween fucking candy shit. Yeah, all right. That's stupid. One, two. Anyone yeah, what you said is stupid. I agree. Splurge. This is your splurge. Splurge. Even the way he says that is fucking weird. I saw his whole face like reacts to dumb words. You know what I mean? Like splurge. You know. <laughs> you don't need it to be healthy. That's stupid. Anyone who says otherwise is a fucking moron. What? You don't need organic ingredients in your chocolate bar. What? You don't need the chocolate bar, period. That's <laughs> not your selling point. For your really? Oh, man. I could have lived longer in life if I had more chocolate bars. Cheap <laughs> food. You're a dunce. You're, <laughs> You're pushing a dunce. I like the taste of organic chocolate bars. You're a fucking idiot. You don't need it. Like, I don't need the chocolate bar at all. Actually. And also, go fuck yourself. Half a million dollars in debt, bitch ass. <laughs> like, dude, go, go pull some more fucking cards in fucking WWE Champions and tell me I don't need some. Conspiracy, this organic pseudoscience on people makes no sense whatsoever. And then How does it, I don't even understand the science part. We got more organic materials than the... the it, it, this is like the opposite of science, right? Because most of the fucking chocolates are fake chocolate. It's like chemicals and shit, like I said. Um, so this is less of that... It's actually using real organic material. So how the fuck is it science? I don't understand. It's like the opposite. Your joke, shareable piece is a tiny piece, is a bad moral to teach kids. God, fuck, he's so fucking dumb. I, I can't. No bar ever says share. This one says share. How is that a bad moral? How? 
How is it? He so he wanted to fucking hate this so bad. It's so infuriating. Like I don't even want to defend Mr. Beast. If you watch any of my reactions, I make jokes about oh, Mr. Beast is such a terrible person. He's an awful person. I I don't believe that. That's a joke. And some people still actually think I'm being serious. But still, I make jokes about Mr. Beast being a terrible person. So whatever. I'm I, I'm okay with saying that, not truthfully, but still. But he's he was so ready to shit on this chocolate bar. He saw it in the store while he was fucking slowly walling through fucking getting all this dumb bullshit spending like eight hundred dollars on cat food for his dumb ass cat and he fucking saw it and went mm-hmm. he probably saw it in the regular aisle it probably wasn't even clearance he just made that up to, just to shit on mr beast some more um god damn it you know what i would love if mr beast no no i wouldn't mr beast should just ignore this i'm sure i mean it's been like what over a week so it just doesn't taste good. It tastes like pure sugar. It's too expensive. The rice distribution was 60 cents. It's terrible. This bar. The rice distribution was terrible. <laughs> what a quote. Crap. What a shocker. I'm so. What a shocker. Yeah. I'm surprised. Never would have expected. Yeah. Mr. Beast, an incredibly successful just person in general, not a YouTuber. Just a, a, incredibly successful made something bad. Oh, okay. All these other things that are incredibly successful, I guess they're bad too. Then. The overpriced Mr. Beast candy that the parents scoffed at at Halloween was actually also not very Wait, what? Well, n- no, what? That doesn't make any sense. They scoffed at a Halloween? No one would buy those for Halloween. What? They wouldn't spend two... They wouldn't buy those. They would buy, buy the fucking big bag of chocolate. They scoff. What? I don't even understand. What the fuck does that mean? No one would buy those bars. I've never... When I was a kid, very rarely. I mean, maybe five percent of the time i would get like a big chocolate bar and that was only for like like the shitty neighborhoods i used to always go to like like my friend lived at, on a shitty neighborhood and they, they so it was obvious they bought the big bars because they know they don't get a lot of people at their house um i, ju- I just don't get it I, I, don't, I don't understand bro i really don't i don't get it i, I, I don't get it. i don't get it. I, don't, I, I don't get what he's trying to say there <laughs> like they scoffed at it for Halloween. What do you mean? Like maybe if they wanted to give it to their kids, most people don't do that. They just, you know, they buy chocolate for people. I don't know. Fuck it. So We're at the end of the video. I'm done. Standard chocolate bar. I'm gonna give it a one and a half star out of five. Oh, none. Not surprising. Way overpriced. Too sweet. It was sixty cents. Not good. The Mr. Beast Crunch Bar. Are you giving a one? Because rice distribution was really bad. Upset to me. Mm. I'm going to give a one star out of five because I don't taste any rice in it. It's terrible. I don't taste any rice, which, as everybody knows, has a, a distinct taste to it. Everybody knows this. Don't buy this shit. Do not buy this shit. Eat rice right now with nothing on it. T- tell me it tastes like something, <laughs> please. And I know it's not the same rice. It's just like, whatever. it is, but whatever. It's made different. Whatever. Crash. Don't waste your money on this. Don't buy it because someone's name's on it. By the way, he didn't make it. So known as Mr. Beast Feastables is a food brand created by a YouTuber, Jimmy Donaldson, known online as Mr. Beast. In January 2022, Donaldson announced the creation of the company, which launched with its own brand of chocolate bars called Mr. Beast Bars. Didn't do that little bit of research. He's going to do a video reviewing the chocolate bar. Couldn't even look up Feastables real quick. Fucking 10 letters. He couldn't look it up. He couldn't look up 10 F E A S T A A A B L A A S whatever fuck. Um he couldn't look it up. Could not look it up. Couldn't type it up. No, his fucking fingers are too fat and fucking sad, bro. He can do. It says it. right on it. I'm fatter than him. I can fucking search things up. Here, I'll do it right now. Let's search up on my phone too, which he's on his phone a lot too. So, here you go. Feastables. Oh wow, that took what? What was that? What was that? A second? Wow, that's crazy. Mr. Beast bar. Here, here's one for a dollar sixty nine. Here's a big bar for two eighty nine. Okay. Here's another small one. I yeah, wait. Hold on. He did change the wrapper. So wait. He did look new. Look even better flavor. So these small ones here. Let me lower the screen brightness. Look at this. That's what he 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 ate right there. And there's that. So I was right. So maybe he was he wasn't fucking around with that it was clearance, but because they changed the fucking thing, that's probably why. And this is a dollar sixty nine, by the way. So I mean that's still not great, but whatever. 
Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Yep, that's at Target, by the way. I don't know if he said he, where he went. I'm assuming he didn't. Uh, uh yep. Yeah, here's a big bar for a dollar eighty nine. Oh, that's the chocolate one. I mean, that's right. peanut butter one is on it. Uh, yep. Dollar sixty nine, two sixty nine. Why is that one two sixty nine? Does it come with two or something? No, I think. Why was this one two sixty nine? Okay, that's weird. Uh. Anyway. I guess I could just order one. I'm on my diet now, so it's too late. Next time I'm off, maybe I'll do it. Company called Feastables. And then oh, a company called Feastables. He just assumes he doesn't own it. Mr. Beast is like, what is he? Fuck, he, man, he has so much money. You don't think he could just make a company if he wants to fucking make a chocolate bar? He's so fucking stupid. He probably uses uh, as like, it won't, um, ah, fuck it. Mr. Beast We're at the end. He didn't make the chocolate bar. Don't waste your money. Well, of course he didn't make it. What do you think he's going to fucking sit here and fucking make all chocolate? Put me on this crap. Not really Go fuck? support companies that know what they're doing. They've been doing it for hundreds of years. Yeah. Go Stop support it. Hershey's because they're so, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Aren't most companies, that's why that fucking, you got the Tony, Tony's chocolate, right? That's what it's called. Um, that says uh, we don't use slave chocolate or whatever. Yeah. He doesn't know this, I'm assuming. He knows all about organic fucking materials and stuff, but he doesn't know that. You know, some chocolate companies use, you know, slaves to make their chocolate. I'm assuming Hershey's is like that. I'm not sure. But there's a lot of other companies that do. So, you know. Supporting the Flash in the Pan popular Flash in the Pan. It's been out for over two years. Today. Seriously. Like, no, uh, don't waste your time. It's bad. I'm literally going to throw this out. And I yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw it out off camera. <laughs> I'm going to go. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, oh, oh, the camera's on. <laughs> <laughs> eat Hershey chocolate. <laughs> Hershey chocolate is so shit. There's no point. Oh, look, it says Hershey's on it. Oh, it doesn't have the share thing, so I, I don't need a soy out. Wasting <laughs> time on this crap. All right. Thank you. Oh, by the way, Hershey's does have the, the, the other chocolate bars that don't have Hershey's on it that says, like, or not says, it, it says Hershey's on it, but not in big letters. But it has the ones where you can actually break them and stuff. And it doesn't say share on it, so I guess it's okay that, you know. So if, like, a kid, like, Saw that and and it had like the sixteen rectangles or whatever. I think there's like little rectangles or something. And they broke off just the top three or four and handed it to a friend. Would DSP be like, "Wow, Hershey's! What a terrible fucking lesson to give kids." You guys, like, are watching the return of DSP tries. I hope it stays fucking buried. Out of retirement, just like your fucking YouTube views, bro. For this one, to review something that I found hilarious, and again, I'm not hilarious. That, it was hilarious that Mr. Beast made a chocolate bar. Being honest, I'm trying to start crap, all right? Once again. <laughs> yep. That I found hilarious, and again, I'm not being honest. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not being honest, I'm just starting. I'm trying to start crap, all of right? Of course he is. He doesn't like getting into drama. I mean, Mr. Beast will never notice, Phil. He doesn't care. Yeah, I'm, He won't ever care. I'm sure Mr. Beast knows who DSP is, too. I'm sure he does. PewDiePie knew who he was. All these big YouTubers know who he is. He's such a fucking idiot. But yeah. hey, Once again, overpriced. Tie in with a YouTube. I bet Mr. Beast has heard of DSP. Purpose to make profits. No, there you go. All right. Once again, overpriced. Tie in with a YouTuber on purpose to make profits. He says uh, he does no research. He's he does this as a job. He was like, oh boy, I'm gonna do this Mr. Beast down. I'm gonna shit all over Mr. Beast. Didn't do a, a, a fucking lick. A fucking just a t not even a lick. A t a, t a, a fucking a, a tic tac worth of fucking like research to find out the fuck is this about didn't it. it's not good it's crap product skip it mm -hmm. thanks for watching i'll see you next time maybe in it took one bite of each one all right sorry he took he took he ate the share bar which he had a problem with but he still ate it he still broke it off because it's easier to do so you know uh and then he took another bite of the rice one uh but only took like one bite of the fucking other one but you know that's enough to really criticize an entire fucking chocolate bar yeah. another three to four years hiatus peace out everyone yeah, devour please. <laughs> yeah, devour is a is a meme. Oh, God, what a fucking moron! Uh, I can't, I can't stand this man. A fifty-three minute video—that's fucking crazy. Fourteen minute thing. Fuck me. Uh, I can't stand it, bro. I can't stand it. It's a fucking moron. Anyway. There you go. That's it. in our DSP fucking video. There was a there was the one for the the football stream, but uh, I didn't watch that one. Let me see.
Yeah, your guy. Well, I started it myself, and then I was like, should I do a video? I'm like, nah. Oh, I got hiccups now. All right, we're done. I'm gonna go get the dark side filled chocolate bar that tastes like fucking actual ass and shit.